again. Would you please turn to number 988? <clears throat> number 988. I'll be listening. When the Savior calls, I will answer. When he calls for me, I will hear. When the Savior calls, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere Listening, I'll be somewhere. Listening, I'll be somewhere. Listening for my name. If my heart is right when he calls me, if my heart is right, I will hear. And if my heart is right when he calls me, I'll be somewhere. Listening for my name. I'll be somewhere. Listening, I'll be somewhere. Listening, I'll be somewhere, listening for my name. I'll be somewhere, listening, I'll be somewhere, listening, I'll be somewhere, listening for my name. If my robe is white, when he calls me, if my robe is white, I will hear. And if my robe is white, when he calls me, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. <clears throat> if you'll turn one page over, to number 989, <coughs> number 989 soon and very soon. <coughs> soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. No more dying there, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. For our next song, we'll be singing number 959. Number 959, Just a Little Talk with Jesus. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It made my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him about our troubles. Hear our faintest cry answered by and by. Feel a little prayer for yearning. Our until is turning. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Number 957. Number 957, this world is not my home. <clears throat> this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. 
My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. They're all expecting me, and that's one thing I know. My Savior pardoned me, and now I onward go. I know He'll take me through, though I am weak and poor, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just up in glory land, we'll live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their songs of sweetest praise drifts back from heaven's shore, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. You'll please turn to number 781. Number 781. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> For all that you've done, I will thank you. For all that you're going to do. For all that you've promised and all that you are is all that has carried me through. Jesus, I thank you. And I thank you, thank you, Lord. And I thank you, thank you, Lord. Just for me, how I thank you, Jesus, I thank you, gratefully thank you, thank you. Number 948 will be our next song. Number 948. We'll sing the first and fourth verse on this one. I am resolved no longer to linger, charmed by the world's delight. Things that are higher, things that are nobler, these have allured my sight. I will hasten to him, hasten so glad and free. Jesus, greatest, highest, I will come to Thee. I am resolved to enter the kingdom, leaving the paths of sin. Friends may oppose me, foes may beset me, Still will I enter in. I will hasten to him, hasten so glad and free. Jesus, greatest, highest, I will come to thee. I made that one a little high. 
I'm sorry about that. <laughs> For our next song, we'll be singing number 934. Number 934. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O oh sinner, come home. Oh, for the wonderful love he has promised, promised for you and for me. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon, pardon for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling, O oh sinner, come home. Number 923. Number 923. Sorry, number 924. Sorry. <laughs> Just as I am, number 924. <clears throat> we'll sing the first, second, and fourth verse. <clears throat> Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to Oh, 
find you for our imitation song. All right, I want to thank uh, Luke for getting up here and, and leading singing like he does. Of course, sounds like a professional. That's, I know he does it all the time uh, back home, so we're certainly thank you for doing that and thankful for everybody being here. But uh, I'm especially uh, glad, Luke, that you led that last song, The Old, the old Rugged Cross, uh, because it talks about uh, what, what we ought to be focusing on here. And you know, this weekend to me and to my family, especially me and Levi, has kind of been a, a pretty big one uh, as far as being sports filled. Um, whenever, uh, whenever we have our, our teams and such that we um, that we love to watch, I know that uh, the main purpose of us watching those teams is because we both want, but not only want, we expect them to win. We expect them to have victory, but uh, this weekend was a little bit different. You know, Levi and I are both, both Braves fans, but we're also very much both Reds fans, and they haven't been doing too good so, so much lately. And uh, I told Levi before we went, this was his very first Major League Baseball game this weekend. I told him before we went, I was like, it's not looking too good, buddy. The Reds don't look like they're going to win. Uh, so don't get your hopes up. By the way, Levi, they won their game today, so it was a three-game sweep, so we're good. Uh, but, uh, but playing the Dodgers, they're just such a good team. I thought, they're not going, they're not going to do too well. Well, it turns out uh, they had a huge victory on Friday night when we went, and it was awesome. Of course, that's going to get our expectations up greatly. But whenever we, whenever we have our teams like that, we put a lot of faith in them, so much so... Uh, I have to have Levi sort of come up here or sort of stand up front because he's wearing my illustration. I brought it up front and then he put it on. But uh, so another thing that's happening right this second because of the rain delay is the Indy 500. And I have a favorite driver just like Levi does, but mine is, my, yeah, I think it's a little too big, Levi. My favorite driver is Joseph Newgarten. Sounds very German, but he was born and raised in Nashville, by the way. All right. Uh, but, uh, He's my favorite driver. Uh, he was in the top five the last time I looked, so I don't know how things are going. But here's the thing about it. I can wish, and I can hope, and I can dream, and I can buy, and I can wear all of this merchandise for the Reds, for my favorite race team, or whatever it may be. But none of that is going to guarantee that they are going to win. None of it is going to. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Go ahead and sit down. Um, none of that's going to guarantee that. We only have a, a few real guarantees in this life. That is that this world is not going to last forever. And the other guarantee is that if you are faithful to the Lord, you will last forever. You will have a home in heaven with him. But I want us to... Uh, Think on that for just a moment from James chapter 4, starting in verse 13, and, and we'll go ahead and go to verse 17. Come now, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. James ends that statement by saying, the most important thing that you can do as a Christian is to know the right thing to do and to do it. Everything else, everything else that you experience, everything else that a person right next to you, beside you, across from you, everything else they do is completely and totally out of your control. What happens in a day is completely out of your control. I don't want to like put a damper on anything. I don't want to um, think uh, negatively. But the, the thought did cross my mind 
this past weekend, you know, I really want to take Levi to this ball game. But you know, on a three hour drive, we could be in a car accident or something and something could happen. You don't want to dwell on that kind of stuff, but those are just unknowns. Those are things that just aren't guaranteed. And so James says, don't put your faith in things that aren't guaranteed. We can even take that as far as saying, don't think I'm going to live my life how I want to today. And tomorrow I'll obey God. Tomorrow I'll obey the gospel. You're not guaranteed one more minute, one more second on this earth. Instead, know the right thing to do and do it. That's what you have control of. You have no control over anything else that happens in this life. So will you do the Lord what the Lord wills you to do? Will you do that tonight? If you haven't been living that life, will you start that journey tonight? Will you become a child of God? Will you surrender yourself to him? The Bible tells us that if we truly have faith in him, we'll want to obey him. And that goes by confessing our faith in Jesus Christ. Repenting of our sins, meaning showing that we truly mean it by changing the way that we're going to live our life, changing our mind and allowing that to change our life. But then also displaying that faith by being baptized into Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. I believe wholeheartedly that our faith saves us. But I believe that is in the culmination of repentance and in baptism, where we are told repeatedly that the waters of baptism symbolically wash our sins away. And that's important. And we can help you with that tonight. We can do that for you tonight. Obviously, that will all be to the glory of God. But we would love to see you do that. If you're here tonight and you haven't been living faithfully, you've been living as if uh, you can control things and you're finding out that you can't and it's making your life miserable, let me encourage you to change your focus tonight. To get back on the track of understanding that the only constant that you can have in your life is God. And he wants to be that constant. So if you need to come back to him, if you need to be restored to the church, if you need to repent of some sin to get your life back on track, let me encourage you to do that. There's not a big crowd here tonight. There's enough that are going to hug you and encourage you. But I think that would be an awesome thing for you to experience. So tonight, if you need to come for either reason mentioned, I ask you to come now as we together stand and as we sing. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is.
Does anyone at this time needs to partake the Lord's Supper with the, was able to this morning? If you'd raise your hand. Do you, uh, you have the uh, emblems you need? Do you have the the cup and the? No. Okay. Anybody needs one? Raise your hand and be taken care of. <coughs> Okay, let us pray. Father, heaven is we're about to partake of this bread. There was uh, is remembrance of Christ's body that was nailed to the cross for each and every one of us. The great sacrifice that, that, that was made for the love you have for everyone in the world. And, and thank you so much for it. Be with those that partake of this bread. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. represents Christ's blood and ask you to uh, be with those who partake of it. As the blood flowed from Christ's body, as they drove the hands, the nails to his hands and feet, uh, the blood that washes away our sins, as you bless those who partake of it in Christ's name we pray. Amen. those who have been here and are here and we're thankful for that. Thankful for those watching online as well uh, this evening. Uh, we want to remember those who uh, are traveling. Continue to keep them in their prayers as they travel and have a safe trip to where they're going and back home again. Uh, Ryan, I appreciate your, your words of uh, encouragement on the devotional tonight. Um, just to give you a little bit of an update, uh, you, we've got some friends here with us. Daniel and Luke's friends, Max, Brandon, and, and uh, Mason. And they're visiting from Nashville. And about a year ago, we had another friend that was with them. That was Chase on Page. Uh, many of you sent cards to Daniel and Luke. Uh, many of you know what, what happened, that Chase on was, was struck by a car while crossing the street and killed instantly. Um, it's been over a month or so, but they've not been able to find uh, the person who has actually done it. They have found the vehicle. Uh, they're still investigating that. Uh, Lawanda and uh, Rico Page, his parents, are still suffering, obviously, from the loss and from the shock and all that goes along with that, but they have not been able to have any kind of closure due to the fact that they haven't found that individual. And so I just want to ask you to continue, if you don't mind, to remember the Page family uh, in your prayers uh, and that uh, that they can put that to, to rest. Obviously, it's not something we're going to get over at all, ever. I don't think anyone could. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to bring that to your attention. We're kind of celebrating uh, tomorrow. We're going to Holiday World like we did about a year ago. We're just minus <clears throat> one person. So uh, just keep the family in your prayers and, and Luke and Daniel also in your prayers that, uh, that they can uh, put this to, to rest in their minds as well. Stan, would you lead us in closing prayer? If you'll stand at this time, I'd appreciate it. Pray with me. Uh, Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this large day you gave us. We know we we don't promise tomorrow, but we're so thankful for this day we had to, to come here to listen to the lessons and sing these songs. And we're always so thankful for the avenue of prayer that we can bring our petitions to you, Father. And, we're so thankful for your willingness to a helping hand in these matters, especially those who are suffering sickness and illness in life. We're, we ask your hand in that, and uh, we're so thankful that the, the good news and the, the blessings we receive from that, Father. 
Father, well, we're so, so thankful for the, the church here and the, the, the things we allow us to do to spread your word here in this community and things. Uh, we ask you also, Father, be with those that uh, lost loved ones in the service and be with those families and uh, tomorrow as we set, set aside that day in remembrance of them. And we're so thankful for the freedoms that they provided for us to, just the freedom to be here tonight that uh, uh, we're so thankful for that. Just be with those families that, uh, that did lost loved ones in service and we're so thankful for them and be with them, Father. Father, we're also ask you to be with the Page family and the loss of their son there. Uh, it's a big tragedy and it's, it's, uh, it's something that's really hard to deal with sometimes and uh, be with those who, close members and friends and family there that they're, they're get through this situation and uh, bless them in their, in their grief, Father. Father, we ask you to go with us now as we turn to our homes and uh, uh, this week and the things, and especially with those who will be out traveling and have a safe trip and a safe return back. and Just, uh, just be with us and watch over us and the things we do that we can be a shining light <coughs> in, in your, here on this earth for you. And we pray someday that we can be with you in heaven. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs>